welcome back. Welcome to my backyard. I'm really excited to share today's recipe with you that I tried. It's called Shaka Lavong and it's a Vietnamese dish that I'd never heard of before. So how I discovered this was I was watching the Food Network, Guys Grocery Games, don't judge me. <laughs> And someone on there made this dish and it was really intriguing to me because it combines dill and turmeric and fish sauce and I wanted to try it. So I looked up some recipes. I actually followed Marion's Kitchen. Her recipe, I'll link it below. She's an amazing YouTuber and I followed that recipe and I also wanted to tell you a little bit about this dish because obviously, like I said, I didn't even know what it was. So Shakala Vong is a Vietnamese grilled fish dish originally from Hanoi. So it's traditionally made with catfish. It's a local river fish in Vietnam. So obviously I couldn't get that here. So what I did was I used cod and shrimp. A little bit of the history about this. Um, in the 19th century, the Doan, hopefully I said that right, the Doan family were known to prepare grilled fish for their neighbors, and the dish became so popular that their local community helped the family open a restaurant named Shaka Lavang uh, in 1871. So the words Shaka translate to grilled fish in Vietnamese. Meanwhile, Lavang was inspired by a local statue of Jiang Zia, also known as Lu Wang, which is pronounced La Vong in Vietnamese, who was a fisherman turned politician who symbolized the potential for patient, talented people. So in its early days, the restaurant was a meeting place and hideout for anti-colonial rebels. However, the restaurant later became popular with aristocrats, aristocrats, I said aristocrats, <laughs> with aristocrats and colonial troops of French Indochina copycat restaurants opened on the street with similar names um, but the original Shakalavang restaurant is still open in Hanoi where it only serves its signature dish and guests eat from charcoal burners at communal tables. This dish is um, originally served over vermicelli noodles but I didn't have any of those so I served it over rice and you'll, you'll see in the cooking portion it turned out very good. Like uh, Marianne said in her YouTube video, it tastes like sunshine. <laughs> um, it's just really interesting because it combines flavors that I wouldn't have thought to put together. And if you like that kind of thing, if you like dill, if you like turmeric, I would definitely suggest trying this. So let's go watch the cooking portion and see how I did. Okay, so we start out with some garlic and you put that in your uh, mortar to break down. I put some salt on it to help, you know, smash it and really break it up. And then I just went to town here. <laughs> I sped this up because I was shaking the camera. I was really hammering in that garlic. And then you add a whole bunch of scallions, green onions, chives, whatever you have. And <laughs> you see the camera shaking there. I was really just going after it but yeah you pound that down so it turns into almost like a paste and it smelled really really good I mean it's just garlic and onion but it's a great start and then you add in fish sauce don't be afraid of fish sauce if you haven't worked with it before it's yeah a little different but it's delicious then some curry powder and then uh, that's a little bit of sugar, I believe. And then you add in your turmeric and it's quite a bit of turmeric. <laughs> I will say that my kitchen had a lot of yellow stains after I made this. It was worth it though. And then you add in some vegetable oil. Mix that all together. This is the marinade for the fish. And then you add in your dill, your fresh dill. 
I actually ended up adding a little bit more than this later on. <laughs> Gotta get it all off the cutting board. <laughs> and then mix that all up. Okay, so here's my fish. This was cod, like I said. Um, I actually found it frozen and it was really beautiful, really nice, firm fish. Um, I think you can use basically any firm white fish and honestly this would probably be great with salmon and even chicken breast I would guess or tofu if you're vegan I think the flavors are just so lovely and then I added in shrimp now after eating this I really enjoyed it um, I liked the shrimp but honestly I liked the the cod a lot better and so did my boyfriend it just really was so flaky and firm so I think next time I'm just going to double the amount of cod okay so now we're making the sauce that we you top it with at the table so there's garlic and that is a serrano pepper so it's a bit spicy <laughs> and then oh just pour it in the vinegar <laughs> then you add in a bunch of vinegar yeah, this is what you you top at the very end with this. So that's some more fish sauce. <laughs> Trying to get it out of that bottle. <laughs> and then some sugar. The sugar with the fish sauce and the vinegar is just so good. And then you get the heat of the serrano. It pairs perfectly and then finish it off with some lime, lime juice. And that's what that looks like. Set that to the side until you're ready to serve. All right, I got my oil hot and now I'm pouring in my marinated fish and shrimp. And you want to make sure that the pan's hot and that you get them all in a single layer in the pan. You can see it heating up there. And then I went in and I flipped each individual piece with chopsticks <laughs> awkwardly because <laughs> I'm not that talented with chopsticks. But it helped because the fish was quite delicate and I didn't want to break it. And um, the... the the chopsticks were a really good way to do that. I got that tip from Marion. <laughs> and here's how it looks with extra dill and extra scallions on it. Oh, and my kitchen smelled so good. You guys, this dish was incredible. It was so good. So here I am just plating up. I've plated over rice. I think it would be very good over noodles. And then you just spoon that sauce over as you wish with each bite. I loved it, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you try this dish or if you've had it before, because I definitely loved it and I will definitely be making it again. And let me know if you have any suggestions of something to try to cook uh, in the future. Thanks, bye.